Good afternoon and welcome to another webinar. My name is Dr. Ken Stewart and our topic for today is COVID-19, now the flu. COVID-19, now the flu. For the past couple of months, we, we, had, we have been dealing with COVID-19. We've been quarantining. We've been going shopping, working from home. And now the flu is approaching. And that's a totally different disease or infection. So now we'll be dealing with two potential diseases. So the question is, what can we do to prepare for this flu season as we are also dealing with COVID-19? I'm going to provide you with a couple of tips, five tips this week, and another four or five next week to prepare you to get ready for this upcoming flu season. So number one, get the flu shot. This injection, which does not contain a live virus that can cause the flu, goes right into the arm muscle to generate antibodies within about two weeks. These antibodies protect against future flu infection, creating the most effective prevention method for this serious seasonal illness. It is recommended that you get your flu shot before the end of October. So get your flu shot. Number two, keeping it clean. Since we can't see germs, we should try imagining their presence in the most frequently touched areas of our home, office, and the places we visit. I think we are doing well with this as we are also transitioning from COVID, which we were drilled in our head, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. However, during flu season, when the virus is spreading so quickly, consider how many places and spaces could contaminate you. Shopping carts, door handles, faucets, seats on public transportation, even computers and phones. Who could possibly forget the study that found that cell phones carry 10 times more bacteria than toilet seats? Regularly clean surfaces and areas that are frequently touched by different people with a disinfectant spray or wipe. Make a habit this flu season of wiping down high touch areas of your home like remote controls, refrigerators, doors, refrigerator doors, and microwaves at least a few times a week. Number three. But before I go to number three, I think we're doing well with with, with um touching different equipment or things because we've been trained over the past couple of months to wash our hands, don't touch certain things, wear gloves. So I think we should be good with keeping it clean. Number three, practice good hygiene. If our previous tips sufficiently grossed you out, then you should know that the surest way to prevent the spread of infectious viruses is practicing good hand washing which I mentioned just a couple of seconds ago, frequently cleanse hands with warm water and plenty of soap after using the restroom, before eating, after touching surfaces in public spaces, and certainly after coming in contact with someone who isn't feeling well. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. We're doing well with that. Keep it up, so let's move on. Don't forget to wash your hands for 30 seconds. Let's go on to number four. Number four. Do your body good. Take time and energy to prepare and eat healthy foods and get plenty of rest each night. Shoot for vitamin and mineral rich foods like fruits and veggies that are bright with color as well as healthy, as well as a healthy mix of proteins and whole grains. The nutrients will help your body fight off illnesses better plenty of water, and increase 
natural foods in your diet help to boost the immune system. But also, did you know that people who exercise 30 to 45 minutes a day experience a 40 to 50% reduction in the number of days they get sick? As you begin a workout, circulating levels of white blood cells and other sickness-fighting agents increases. Exercise also has been shown to reduce stress and the release of stress-relating hormones, which improves overall health and lowers susceptibility to illness. Regular movement also reduces inflammation and the occurrence of chronic disease. Research also shows that routine physical activity improves quality and duration of sleep, a huge plus for keeping illnesses at bay. So, go for a walk, go for a run, go for a bike ride, do your stairs. That will help to that will help you and your body very well. But also, go to bed at, at a decent time. And then, number five, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Certainly applies to fellow humans during flu season. As members of a community, our choices affect those around us and their decisions affect us. So for the common good, stay home if you're feeling unwell. Don't fight your way through flu symptoms in the hope of being productive at work. You could spread the disease to friends and coworkers instead of recovering in peace and quiet. Drink fluids, rest in bed, and take pain relieving medications for discomfort. Just make sure you talk to your provider about that. If you must be out in public, remember that the flu is, tra is transmitted by respiratory droplets. But we know that if you're going out, more than likely you have your mask on. So that's good. All right, so just a recap. Get the flu vaccine. Keep it clean. Wipe. Wipe your um, microwave handles. Mic your, wipe your door handles. Wipe your remote controls wipe your phones. Number three, practice good hygiene, hand washing, 30 seconds. Do your body good, eat right, exercise. And number five, practice the golden rule. I'm sorry, practice the golden rule. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. If you're sick, stay home. If you have to go out, wear a mask. All right, so this is your preparation or oh, our preparation as we prepare for this flu season in light of what we're dealing with right now, which is the COVID-19. Thank you, take care. I see you all next week as we finish off with the second part of COVID-19, now the flu.